We're going to move on to gear compare, or as I like to call it, try it before you buy it. Um, this is where you can build up your best in slot for your personal gear based on what you already have and what you are looking to get um, from a raid or from Mythic Plus or from a five man or even from World Quest. No matter what level that you're playing in the game, um, you can look and see, okay, if I got this, would it be an upgrade? Um, this is what I actually use to generate my best in slot. Now one thing, this is the other little nuance of raid bots is it's supposed to be showing me my gear right here and it's not. I know that this is right because it copied it over from what I put in top gear. So I'm just going to hit enter and kind of bounce around a little bit and it's like, oh, okay, I'll update it. So if you if you <laughs> hop in here and you don't have any gear to look at, it's because it hasn't updated it from up there. So this is the gear that I'm wearing. And um, it totally depends on how you're playing the game, where you would look to find upgrades. Um, if you are into Mythic Plus, or you're doing Five Mans, or you're doing World Quests, you're probably going to use Wowhead to filter your gear. If you're pretty much just doing the latest raid, or maybe one or two raids back, um, I actually like to use the in-game gear, you know, it shows you, okay, if you're in Tomb, here's all your options, you know, stuff like that. So just to show you really quickly, um, not that everybody is, is raiding or anything like that, but if I'm in here and I go to the adventure guide, um, Again, the problem with dungeons is it, it has everything individual. So Wowhead is a much better option. And then just to show you super fast, um, under loot, you can actually see all the legendaries that are available for your class. Like I don't have this one, um, but it's kind of neat to see what's, what's out there for Beast Mastery or whatever your spec is. Now, if you go to Raids, Tomb of Sargeras, and come over to the Loot tab, it's going to give you every piece of loot that drops into. Now, I have access to Heroic. Um, you may have Raid Finder. Everybody should have Raid Finder now. Um, Normal, Mythic, whatever you have access to. I would say Heroic for me. Um, one thing that I actually need is I need a new trinket. I'm still running an old trinket. Um, and so these are my trinket options. I have I have the owl trinket already, um, but I, I think I wanna get the engine of eradication. I haven't been able to, but I think that's what I want off of Maiden. So to bounce back to raid bots, so everybody in your mind should also want an engine of eradication who doesn't like chasing down orbs. Um, I don't have it. It's not in my bags, but I, should I have it? So if I type in engine of eradication, um, I have access to the heroic version, which is a 915. I'm not going to worry about gems. I'm just going to go with the, the baseline version. Now, when it comes to doing a try it before you buy it with trinkets and rings, you have to select which one you're going to replace. So in this version, it's replacing my owl trinket and I'm keeping the foci. Um, what I want to do is I don't know if I should be replacing the owl or the foci. So I'm going to make, did you hear it? See, I hit duplicate gear set. It, it just duplicates what I have. Same everything, but I'm going to move this to trinket slot two. So I'm going to say, okay, if I got an engine, do I ditch the owl? Do I ditch the foci? Let's find out. So again, all this stuff will stay the same. We're going to bounce down here and hit compare items. Now, when you're doing a gear compare or um, again, the try it before you buy it, you are generating the versions that you're running. It is not like the best in bags where you pick a couple of of pieces of gear and it runs every version it can come up with. You have to come up with those versions. So that's why I had to run two gear sets for the engine. So what it's telling me here is if I get an engine, 
and a 915 would be perfectly acceptable. I want to ditch the foci. So I keep the owl, ditch the foci. If I get confused and I put it in the wrong slot, I am going to take a hit for it. So I'm going to see a, a real DPS loss in the game if I can't figure out where to stick my shiny new engine trinket. Now, a cool thing, and you're going to actually see this um, when we do talent compare and relic compare, is when you're typing in uh, names of things, when you generate the report, you get a use as template button. What this means is, is you can just hop right back. See, it gave us a little glitch again. We're going to just bounce around. Um, it's giving you back everything that you just did. So you, I know just now from running my sim that this gear set where I, I throw my owl in the trash is not what I would do. So I'm actually going to remove this gear set. And that leaves me with this guy. So I know this version I simmed higher. Okay. So um, now I want to say... Um, if, if I had this engine now, and I know some of you, I don't, I'm not a big fan of running old dungeons, but there are people out there that are running old raids rather, um, trying to get a higher level. My folk guy is an awesome 895. It does have a gem slot in it. Um, let's say you just really love, where's this from? The Nighthold. You just really love the Nighthold. And you're like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to get an engine of eradication ever. Um, my raid leader doesn't like me. I have terrible RNG. I'm better off running back and trying out, you know, trying to get a Titan Forge, War Forged foci. So you can totally do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a gear set. We're going to keep our engine just as comparison. And you're going to say foci. Any part of the word works as long as you spell it correctly. Um, all right, so let's say I'm going to, if I had a foci, let's say I got Loki and I got a 915, okay? Maybe that's good enough. Maybe it's not. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to try out a 920 duplicate, and I'm going to try out a 9, we'll just shoot for the moon. We'll say a 930, which is fairly ridiculous. Um. All right, so what I'm going to say is, okay, how good of a foci do I need to beat out a 915 engine of eradication? Um, different classes, different specs do different things. Foci is not, <laughs> it's not actually a real popular choice with uh, Beastmaster Hunters. A lot of times they're going to run this sim with the trinket off of Ursoc because it is still ridiculously good. Um, so I've actually run those sims and said, okay, how much pain and ang you know, agony do I have to go through to get something better? And sure enough, even if I got a 915, which is dreaming, um, it, it would be equivalent, essentially. So 2,000 DPS is not particularly noticeable. 6,000, that's kind of a legit um, Sure, I'll take 13,000 DPS increase. Sure. Um, so if you've decided, you're like, hey, you know, my buddies are getting together and we're going to go back and we're going to run Nighthold. And, um, and one of these drops, you know that if it drops a 920, you better roll on it. Um, it, for that increase, definitely if it if it Titan forges up to a 930, and you could run iterations and find out, okay, where's 925 put me, that sort of thing. And what this does is this lets you plan. It says I have this gear, and this lets you plan ahead, so you're not scrambling at the last second if something drops. So I'm gonna go back, use this template. Um, I am going to do something a little bit fancy. I'm going to get rid of all my folk guys here. So let's say I got an engine of eradication. I'm going to bump this guy again. You can do it. Yay. So I am, like I said, like I was whining and complaining earlier, I'm still running the tier 19, the cloak and the gloves. 
I want to know, so right now, the only tier 20 I have is the hat, the shoulders, the chest, and the legs. So those, that's my four piece. Um, I do have a legendary that's supposed to be really good for my chest, but I'm stuck because I have that as a tier piece. If I could get the cloak, if I could get the tier 20 cloak, I could wear that other legendary and I have some 920 um, gloves that I could put on. So is that going to be better? So let's see if you could follow along cause, and we're just going to pretend like I kept the engine of eradication. I'm just getting all kinds of gear this time. So in order for me to make the switch, I need four pieces of the tier 20. So I need the wild stalker cape. I'm not just a regular stalker. I'm a wild stalker. That's right. I am just going to go baseline 915. I would enchant it though. So that gives me a five piece. So if you see it's updated it here. Now I have a five piece. What I'm gonna do is take away the chest. I'm gonna wear my legendary chest, which is Parcel's tongue, because I'm part of Slytherin, like ghost, ghost snakes. And um, so I've got those guys going. Unfortunately, man, got two, more than two legendaries and I've actually seen people run and they're like look how great you know my DPS is and it's because they're they're actually wearing three legendaries it's pretty neat um, I got to get rid of pride as so if you remember I had that um, crappy Zolus time stone pendant the one that I have is a 905 no socket I do enchant it with claw so where am I now and I have one more thing I have I have pretty good gloves. I'm not going to wear these 890 gloves all on their own with no other benefit. So I have, let's see if I can spell right, gauntlets of spite, nope, spite, spiteful haunting. And the ones that I have are a 920. So I've completely moved all my gear around because I don't have this cloak. And I don't have this this tra this trinket. This lets you say, okay, is it worth trying to beat out all the other hunters and the warriors and everybody else on my token um, for this cloak, or should I just pass on it and let other people, you know, work on it first and save my, you know, RNG juju for something else? So let's come down here and let's hit compare items. And you can do this with, with really any item in the game. Um, I sat down actually with the list of trinkets and went through and simmed each one as if I had gotten it to see, okay, people think I should get the engine. Should I be getting it? Or is it really a better one for my gear? Now, I would call this borderline. This is a borderline upgrade. And I can tell you from running a bunch of sims on myself that what's holding me back is this craptastic neck <laughs> that I have. Um, I've run the sims, I, so I saw this and I'm like, huh, this really should be better. I've gone back and, you know, if you come back here and use as a template and you say, okay, let's say I didn't have the world's worst neck. Let's say I had something better and I put it in here and I rerun it, I would actually get it, um, uh, DPS increase so let's see if I have like the the one that I would probably get is locket of splintered souls let's say if I got a 915 and I enchanted it this this starts guiding you towards what would what really it would be your best in in slot best in bags the whole nine um, so this so absolutely absolutely I have to get another neck that neck that I have if I'm not wearing Pride as is just crap so these are the kind of questions that you're using the simulations to answer and so if I see that neck drop even if it's just a 915 I really need to try hard to get it get my little grubby hands on it um, and in order to do this whole switcheroo I need 
the cloak as well. So what this does is I start, I write this stuff down. I keep it nice to my computer. When I'm on those bosses that drop these things, I know that's where I should bonus roll. Um, this just, it makes everything more efficient, less guessing, less, you know, oh man, maybe I need that, maybe I don't, you know, trying to rifle through all the gear that that boss drops in the heat of the moment. So I use this a lot um, as, as my best in slot building tool, as you will. So that's what I had for gear compare. I hope it wasn't too confusing.